My name is Ken Seibert. I'm a customer engineering manager. I've worked with companies like Avid, Adobe, Apple over the years and supported them through some major product launches. So typically um, when customers come to us and, and they're building out a studio or a post-production environment, um, they go one of two major routes for shared storage. Um, the lower cost solutions will be based upon the protocol of Ethernet. Um, the more expensive solutions are typically fiber channel. Each has its own benefit. Ethernet, lower cost, higher latency. Fiber channel, higher cost, higher bandwidth, and typically used in color, post, and high-end 4K, 8K production. So Ethernet can handle 4K, 8K, but it's very specialized. Um, there's a lot of tuning involved, so a lot of support to the customer and the um, installation. Um, fiber channel is a much easier protocol to work with. Um, pretty much you set it up, and since it's block, um, you just run. So you get very good performance out of the gate. I think the days of a, a, a single environment are gone. Um, way back when, um, in video editing, uh, it was Mac-centric. We see that evolving to Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, with storage, I think you're seeing a similar evolution where you have collaborative workflows that have both an Ethernet network and a fiber channel network. Now, you would probably use the Ethernet network for proxy editing, um, lower resolution editing, and once you get to high-end color, um, when, you're, when you're doing color correction for 4K, 8K, that's really where you need the bandwidth, and, and a lot of that is done with Fiber Channel.